Hello friends, welcome to Insert Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about High Yielding Series Initiative. You know that for the last few days we are discussing, it is mainly targeting towards UPSC CSC prelims 2024. Today's topic is going to be the protected areas in news. Actually, while I am showing the places in news yesterday, there were some maps which are very good in the PowerPoint presentation, but while in the display, they are becoming very pale and the students are unable to uh, see that. So by keeping the students interest in the best possible way, I am little bit reducing the contrast of this video so that maps you can see maps very effectively. Okay. I hope you appreciate this change. And next in whichever the video we don't have the maps again, we will go back to the regular contrast. So these are the topics we are going to discuss in today's video as a part of the protected areas. Here you will see the nine. And here you will see the couple of protected areas. So overall in this video, we are going to cover 11 protected areas. And you know that the consciousness regarding the environment is getting increased. So by, by keeping that in the context, we have to know which protected areas in news. So here protected areas includes it may be the national park or wildlife sanctuary or it may be the biosphere reserve. By the way, total number of biosphere reserves in, Indi in India are 18. If you know, tell me how many biosphere reserves in India are recognized by UNESCO. Out of these 18, how many are recognized by UNESCO? Okay, put your answer in the comment section. Now, first we'll see Panna National Park. Panna National Park. This is present in Madhya Pradesh. And some parts of the Panna National Park, it is subjecting to submerge, submergence due to Ken Betwa River Linkage Project as well as constructing of Daudan Dam as a part of this Ken Betwa River Linkage Project. This particular Panna National Park, it also includes Tiger Reserve as well. Now we'll see the map pointing. In map pointing, you can find here, here. So you can see Ken River and almost all on the left side of the, I mean, on the farmost western side of the Madhya Pradesh. And here, so this is the, as this is the, and here you can see this is the Betwa River and this is the Ken River, Ken River. So this is the Ken Betwa River link. Ken Betwa River link. It is in Madhya Pradesh. So this is the Betwa. This is the Betwa. In fact, okay. Let me remove all these things. This is Betwa River. Betwa River. And this is the Ken River. And uh, joining these two, this is the Ken Betwa River linkage project. We all know that river interlinking is a project. Uh, the main purpose of this is shifting water from or transferring water from the river with surplus water to the deficit water. Here you will see the Panna Tiger Reserve. It is getting effect because of this particular river interlinkage as well as the construction of the Daudan Dam. That is the reason we are discussing today. And some of the important national parks or tiger reserve in Madhya Pradesh are, for example, Bandhavgarh National Park and Kanha National Park, Pench National Park, Satpura National Park, Panna Tiger Reserve. Apart from that, there are some other things as well. For example, Balagat Hill Forest Range and Satpura National Park and uh, Mega Tiger Reserve, Palapur Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary, these are all important other lives, uh, wildlife sanctuaries and tiger reserves which are located in the Madhya Pradesh. Okay? Of course, there are some other important things as well, but uh, try to say as many important as possible. The second thing, second thing is regarding the Papikonda National Park in Andhra Pradesh. It is in news because due to the construction of the Polavaram project, Certain parts of the Papikonda National Park, it is subjected to submergence. That is the reason we included in this particular video. River Godavari flows through this Papikonda National Park. Here is Papikonda National Park present towards the western side of Andhra Pradesh and pretty much very near to Andhra, I mean Odisha as well, I mean Odisha and Chhattisgarh borders as well. Some of the other protected areas in Andhra Pradesh are Kambalakonda Wildlife Sanctuary, and Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary and Kaundinya Wildlife Sanctuary. These, these are some other wildlife sanctuaries. Okay. If you are on the Pradesh, tell me, are there any beaches which got the certification of the blue flag from Andhra Pradesh? If yes, give your answer in the comment section. Third one. Third one is the Sulanapeshwar Wildlife Sanctuary, Gujarat. It is in news because of the local people, they were revolt, they were protesting against the declaration of the buffer zone. We all know that there are certain buffer zones around the protected areas, especially the eco-sensitive zone. 
we all know that uh, regarding that supreme court initially the given uh, statement like you know up to 10 kilometers there must be a co sensitive zone later it reduced because of already lot of human activity is going on in that eco sensitive zone now imposing the 10 kilometers or 1 kilometer it is not going to be suitable so it left it to the local states based on their conditions they can announce the eco sensitive zone that is observation by the supreme court this surana peshwar wildlife sanctuary it is close to surat city located in the western satpura on the boundary of madhya pradesh and maharashtra jarwani waterfalls is very popular and it is very i mean popular for flying squirrels it got the iucn status as well it is pro predominantly located with the vasavas tribal community and these are some of the protected areas present in gujarat let's see some of the protected areas here you can find toll lake wildlife sanctuary and uh, Vadwana, wildlife, Va Vadwana Wildlife Sanctuary, Vansada National Park, Blackbuck National Park, just I am repeating only the important one, Gir National Park. Tell me guys, Gir National Park is popular for which animal? Marine Gulf of Kutch National Park, Narayan Sarovar Chinkara Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay? So these are some of the important protected areas in Gujarat. Third one, fourth one, Simli Par National Park. We all know that Simli Par is not only national park, it is a biosphere reserve as well. Due to the environmentalist concerns that uh, there are certain uh, violations are happening regarding the Simli Par National Park, it is in news at various point of times. And Simli Par National Park is very popular for even the black colored melanistic breed of tigers as well. Significant tribe here is Manikiriya tribes. It is very. Uh, it is called as Simli Pal National Park because of the presence of red silk cotton trees. For that, it is very popular because of that it got that name. Simli Pal National Park. Next, fifth one, Karla Park Sanctuary, Odisha. Recently, unfortunately, seven elephants subjected to diet because of the bacterial infection. Because of that, it is in news. Sixth one, Marayur Sandalwood Reserve, Kerala. Actually, this particular reserve in Kerala, it is very popular because of its sandalwood quality. And this particular thing, it is connecting the several national parks, such as Eravikulam, Chinnar, Kurinjimala, Anamudai, and Pambandam, Shaurai. Okay, these are the important uh, protected areas connected through this Marayur Sandalwood Reserve. It is very popular for the high quality sandalwood in India. High quality sandalwood means what? The high quality sandalwood means the sandalwood with high amount of the oil content and the high amount of the hardwoods that is about the high quality sandalwood it is present in kerala present in kerala so this is about the kerala map and of course in some other other slides also we will discuss about some of the important protected areas in kerala seventh one narodi wildlife sanctuary madhya pradesh it is in news due to the violation of some environmental laws and this entire sanctuary present in upper Vindhya range. Almost three-fourth of this wildlife sanctuary present in the Yamuna Basin and one-fourth present in the Narmada Basin. Important rivers such as Kopra River, Bamner River, Bermara River flows through this. These are the popular tributaries of River Ken. Just now in the beginning of the video we discussed that Ken Betwa River linkage is on cards. Next, these are some of the important protected areas in Madhya Pradesh. We already repeated through this. Especially you have to remember about Panna, Madhav National Park, Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Bandavgar, Kanha, Satpura, Pinch, Vanvihar and Dinosaur Fossil National Park. These are some of the important national parks. Keep an eye on that. Next, ninth one, Kuno Palpur National Park. We all know that Kuno National Park it is in news mainly for regarding the project cheetah do you know which country is popularly known as the cheetah capital of the world if you know give your answer this particular national park is widely believed that this kardai tree present in this national park it is uh, it is a tree which can uh, which can grow and it, it is in lush green condition even just because of the humidity that means even with the very meager amount of the humidity this tree will survive because of this reason this national park is in news and apart from that even regarding the project cheetah also this national park is in news eighth one budumalai tiger reserve recently 
there was a bird sur survey also conducted in the mudumalai national park because of that it is in use it is present in tamil nadu in the district of nilgiri district it is present in the tri junction of states such as karnataka kerala and tamil nadu it is part of nilgiri biosphere reserve you know that nilgiri biosphere reserve is one of the biosphere reserve which is recognized as unesco world heritage site okay and in south india very few biosphere reserves are there that out of that one is the nilgiri biosphere reserve other one is the sheshachalam biosphere reserve the other one is you know like gulf of mannar biosphere reserve which is very popular for jugang sea cow and a common boundary this is having common boundary with vayana wildlife sanctuary with kerala on the western direction bandipur tiger reserve karnataka on the north one and nilgiri north division on the south as well as the east this particular reserve is very popular for tall grass popularly known as elephant grass this is a mudumala wildlife sanctuary this is present on the boundaries of kerala karnataka and tamil nadu see here it is having boundary with bandipur tiger reserve in karnataka nilgiri in tamil nadu vayanad in kerala it is present in tri junction 10th one kebul lamjava national park you know the speciality of this national park is it is floating national park and it is it is associated with the loktak lake this floating national park actually during the uh, rainy season during the rainy season these floating parts it uh, comes to the surface and they float during the summer season to get the water and nutrition they sink into the submergence of the lake these grasslands are known as pyramids okay loktak lake or this kebul lamb java national park it is in news because certain part of this uh, national park it is affecting because of the loktak hydroelectric project because of that this project is disturbing the cycle of fumids okay this fumids are the grass land floating grasslands which are present in this kebul lamb java national park and these fumids they are unable to feed from the nutrients on the beds because of this changing in the ecosystem this particular kebul lamb java national park is very popular for the floating biomass islands they float during the rainy season and they sink during the dry season loktak lake is a wetland of international importance under the ramsar convention tell me guys how many ramsar conventions are there in, i mean convention sites are there in india that means how many ramsar sites are there in india next ranipur tiger reserve this is the fourth tiger reserve notified in up it is in news due to some illegal activities from the poachers now let's see what are the what are the four tiger reserves in up apart from this ranipur tiger reserve there are some other tiger reserves such as dudwa philbit and amangar amangar is actually the buffer zone of the jim carbet tiger reserve this is the first tiger reserve in bundelkhand region which this is a ranipur tiger reserve uttar pradesh is hosting around 173 tigers with dudwa national park is having the highest tiger population but india wise you know that madhya pradesh is having the highest number of tigers followed by karnataka and uttarakhand here this is the bundelkhand region present between the uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh these are some of the protected areas in uttar pradesh let's read out dudwa kishanpur and valmiki nagar important one i am reading out ranipur chambal very popular for even gharials as well okay these are some of the important national parks which are present in up so this is about the prelims high yielding series of today's edition in today we discussed about 11 protected areas okay i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind